So here it is, Helldivers. Here's the big update. This is from Helldivers 2. This is from their official Helldivers 2 Twitter. So this is not made up. This is real. Helldivers, an important message from our partner PlayStation about account linking. No, it's not from PlayStation. It's your official message. So here's the thing. And here's the problem is that Sony was the publisher of Helldivers. So they have a lot of contractual control over Helldivers. Helldivers was amazing because it didn't have the politics. It didn't have politics. Hashtag managed democracy, right? And everybody was loving Helldivers. But now, here's what's going on. Due to technical issues, so they're calling it now technical issues, right? At the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirement for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. The grace period will now expire. See below in the post for details. So they gave almost no warning of this. Account linking plays a pivotal role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players and engaging that type of behavior. That is complete bullshit. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. What are you talking about? As they can do that through the existing procedures. This is crap. This is a lie. As of May 6, all new Helldivers on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. As of May 6, current players on Steam will see the mandatory login from May 30th and be required to uh, have a linked Steam and PSN network by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. We understand this, while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us continue to build a community that you're all proud to be part of. Many thanks for your continued support of Helldivers 2. This, ladies and gentlemen, is complete. It is a, now, can they do it? Technically, as the publisher, they can try to do this. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. At this point, the game has been out for a long time. The game has been out for a very long time. And they are now presenting a requirement to play the game. You will not be able to play the game unless you connect to their network, which, once again, as a PC player, so I'm imagining that you are a PC player, a Steam player on your PC, right? you are required to connect to something that you may not even own or want to link. Also, they can ban your Steam account for something that they perceive as naughty. Because remember, Sony is super big into censorship. You know what they're doing with Stellar Blade right now? They, what they want to do, their goal here, we're going to get to this, is to permanently ban people. Permanently ban ban people based on their biometrics. So what they want to do is they want to get your uh, logins and ultimately get your biometrics, right? And ban you permanently as a person. They're, that's what they're moving towards. Now, this is a step in that direction, right? So they're trying to hold you hostage to make you behave. And it's very interesting, and this is potentially fraudulent and deceptive in terms of a deceptive business practice because it is very clear that they changed their procedures based on this new Helldivers update. And this is something that was sent to me. So here's the instructions on how to unlink a PlayStation Network on PC game, right? So go to the main menu of PlayStation game on PC and select the option to unlink your game. So do I have to sign into a PSN to play PlayStation game on PC? 
signing into PSN is optional when playing a PlayStation game on PC. This is before May 3rd. Look what happened. Do I have to sign in to PSN to play a PlayStation game? Some PlayStation games may require you to sign in and link an account for PSN. So they're changing their policy for this. This was a rug pull. This was deceptive. And to me, the appropriate response here is to request a refund and leave a negative review. The most important thing is probably a negative review right now because they can hide they can hide the refunds. Nobody sees how many people are, are requesting a refund. It's kind of hard to track that. But the reviews, they can't. You need to put a negative review. You can switch your positive review to a negative review. Put a negative review for this. Specifically mention the linking requirement. And that will actually hit them where it counts because that's going to be seen by everybody. People say they've already rejected the refund request. Don't worry, just put it in. Because if enough people do it, there may be a class action over this. A class action. And you'll see emails going out saying, are you playing Helldivers 2? If you are, get involved in this class action over this rug pull. Because they are requiring you, you already paid for the game, and they're requiring you to do this, and this is a reason you could sue Sony. And there could be a class action against Sony. Right? People say arbitration. No, nah, probably going to get past this, especially in certain jurisdictions. Right? Because once again, you can't stop that. Now, I know a lot of the companies are trying to stop class actions. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So this is a real big one. Uh, and I this like, one, by the way, uh, this is a really good one. Uh, Hell Divers 2 has a great reputation and a massive player base. Sony makes the devs roll out an update that will require everyone to have a PlayStation Network account connected. The only previous mention of this is in a small box on stream. Over 60 countries cannot make a PlayStation account. They're banned from making PlayStation accounts. Some countries require a government ID to make one. EULA never directly mentions a PlayStation out, um, network. So the, the, the contract, your contract does not mention that. PlayStation silently changes their policy in regards to PSN. PlayStation is infamous for data breaches and spam emails. Yes. And this is the thing. You guys are saying it in the chat. You're like, I don't want to be part of the 2024 or 2025 data breach. They have data breaches every 10 minutes. And that's a valid reason to not want to give them your data. Helldivers community manager downplays the entire situation and describes it as just a two-minute process. You know what else, guys? You know what else is a two-minute process? Getting This is Sony fucking over every single Helldivers player. It may be just a two-minute process that's a two-minute process where somebody has your information and is stealing your identity for the rest of your natural born life <laughs> some people are like wow that's quick listen we got business to do here guys People run defense for Sony, downplaying the situation as just PC players seething and overreacting for no reason. Classic Sony. Video game publishers coming up with the worst decisions known to man when they see a game that's actually good. Uh, you know what? This is true. This is true. Same thing with Stellar Blade. Why you gotta go fuck? Because these people are insane because these people are crazy, right? These people are absolutely nuts. So, yeah, that's what's going on with Helldivers. Now, here's the community manager post. Some of you may have not have seen this. Here's a community manager post. Uh, thank you, Permaband. So let me give Permaband a follow for this. Someone share with me this conversation. This is in response to all this, right? 
Oh, yeah, here's a good clip. Here's a good clip here. Uh, everyone, uh, thank God, held ever is the first game in years. It's fun, focus, and complete. Not <laughs> Sony. Um, so CM, community manager, seems to imply that devs want the PSN linking because it would be easier to ban people, while a dev on Discord claims they didn't want it, but Sony forced them to it. So Misty says, hey, this isn't true. Due to the overwhelming amount of people trying to link their accounts, the whole login process broke and people couldn't get into it. Mandatory account linking was disabled for 20 to 30 minutes after it launched to let people play the game. Um, yet people still couldn't get in. It's a process to force people into an ecosystem where they don't want to because Sony thinks it'll make people pay for their products. And so the community manager says it herself. She says, no, it's allow us to ban people. That is the sole reason. That is the sole reason. So they're not even trying to hide the flat, the ball anymore. They're just like, yep. So you couldn't ban people before. That's a lie. We could, but it increases the effectiveness of what we can do. So what they're trying to get is they're trying to ban people across platforms, cross-platform ban, and like just completely yeet you. Sorry for spamming you. I really appreciate the work you're doing here, but what do you mean with more effectiveness? I'm just open-minding here, so no judgment. There are certain legal requirements we have to follow to ban people. This will help us out with that. Also, dealing with support tickets all day, unfortunately, a lot of people encounter cheaters and harassment. This will help us tackle that problem. I don't know about that. 